Okay, this is insanity. I can't see anything. Someone is overtaking me here on the right side. I don't know when to break. And it's all very stressful. There is nothing more relaxing than a VR game that has rain. And iRacing, with its latest patch, as you can see, now supports rain. So in this video, we are going to check out how it performs, how it looks, all of course in virtual reality. And let me start off by saying that the water puddles on the road, the reflection, it looks fantastic. It looks really wet. It looks like rain. Here we go a bit slower to check the details and on flat screen it looks great but here in VR it looks fantastic as well. And of course you feel the roads being wet in the force feedback as well. But that's not why we are here. We are here to check out the details. We make a right turn here and as you can see here the reflection. This here, fantastic. It looks really good. Perhaps even a little bit too shiny if you ask me. But I think they have done an outstanding job here. Especially, again, I'm repetitive, how it looks in VR. Now, how the rain looks like on the window in front of me, that's another story. There are games that do it way better, like Truck Simulator 2. Here, if I turn off the wipers and I just start driving, and trust me, it rains very hard. There are even cars in front of me. It doesn't really matter that I have the wipers off. It really doesn't annoy me and I think they can, well, at least make it so that it, the rain is really blocking your view here. As it currently doesn't. Also the effect is a little bit, it's not the greatest. It seems like dots, not really water drip, dripping on the window here. So in my opinion they can fine tune that a bit and if that is just more aligned with how the water looks like on the road here, ah uh, man they nail it. Now of my understanding you can only drive cars in the rain that have wet tires or support that. But as you can see you can also drive on different tracks here. I love that the rain here and just the weather it, it really connects with the clouds. It's not that it's raining and then there is a blue sky, some racing games do that especially in the past um taking the car out for a spin here and even on this track which is a bit more of a sandy track it still looks pretty decent here but again like i said previously sometimes it feels a little bit too shiny in a way but i mean i don't know yet i, I don't know i have to play a bit more too wheelie really have a have a strong opinion about it but Overall, I think it's absolutely fantastic again. Really, really, really nice. And for the performance, now here we go. Um, I had to fine tune the settings just a little bit. Not much, just a very little bit to maintain a maximum FPS in VR of 72. Let me show you my Oculus settings. I'm playing with the Quest 3 here. Go to the Oculus Quest 3. Click on graphics preferences and I am playing on 72 Hz here with a 1x render resolution. Now I play on the 72 Hz mode because I want to maintain that FPS, that maximum FPS. If I play on 90 Hz I, I would need to fine tune the settings a bit down in order to maintain that. I have a 3080 Ti, an i9 9900K graphics card and 64GB of RAM. And with these settings over here, I can maintain a, a very stable, again, 72 FPS. So you can pause here the screen and perhaps copy them. Also, please, for the love of FPS, run the game in OpenXR mode. Go to the settings, interface, and the sim display mode to OpenXR. You don't really want to run this game via Steam VR. I have tried it as well, just, just to see my, my FPS, but holy moly! It took my F FPS down like, like crazy. I went from 72 FPS to what? 40, 50 FPS? So if you can, try to bypass Steam VR. If you don't know what I mean here, just Google it and you will find answers. Or just join the Discord and ask me there. By the way, if you would like to see a VR settings guide, let me know in the comments down below and I will be happy to make one. Now. Rain in VR in iRacing. How do I rate it? Very well. 
Very great. Very loving. The rain graphics on the road, the shininess, the driplets uh, in the puddles, it's fantastic. Now, they can fine-tune the driplets or the rain on the windshield and the window and with the wipers because that's not really doing anything. And if they can align that more with what we see on the road, I mean, again, they, it, then it's perfect. Now, I hope this gave you a quick insight in, well, my opinion about rain in VR. And, as always, I hope to see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.